A letter contains many parts, each of which contributes to your overall message. Let's take a look at the parts of a business letter. The parts and their placement in your letter form the basic conventions of effective letter writing. Readers look for certain information in key places. The parts of a letter discussed in the following sections will appear in every letter you write. This figure is a sample letter containing all the parts that we'll discuss. Note where each part is placed in the letter as we talk about each. The heading of the letter will be either your company's letterhead or your full return address. Next is the dateline. Try to leave four lines below the letterhead before the dateline. Spell out the name of the full month, like September or March, rather than an abbreviation. The dateline is usually keyboarded in this way, November 11, 2016. Next is the inside address. The inside address, the address of the recipient, is always placed against the left margin, two lines below the dateline. It contains the name, title if any, company, street address, city, state, and zip code of the person to whom you're writing. Single space the inside address and do not use any punctuation at the end of the lines. Always try to write to a specific person rather than just a sales manager or president. To find out the person's name, check previous correspondence email lists, or the company's individual website, or call the company to see who to address the person. Next is the salutation. Two spaces below the inside address includes your salutation or greeting. Begin with the reader's last name, unless you're on a first name basis, and a colon. As an example, Dear Mr. Brown. Never use a comma and a formal letter. Avoid the sexist Dear Sir, Gentleman, or Dear Madam, and instead, ladies and gentlemen, or dear sir or madam. The body of your letter, two spaces after the salutation, contains your message. Some of your letters will only be a few lines long, while others may extend to three or four paragraphs. Keep your sentences concise and try to hold your paragraphs to less than seven lines. A close or complimentary close is two lines below the last line of your message and is the equivalent of a formal goodbye. For most business correspondents, use one of these standard closes. Sincerely, respectfully, sincerely yours, best, and so on. Capitalize only the first letter of the first word. Next is your signature. Allow four spaces between the complimentary closed and your typed name and title so that your signature will not look squeezed in. Always sign your name in black ink. An unsigned letter indicates carelessness or worse indifference towards your reader. A stamped signature tells reader that you could not give them personal attention. Some organizations prefer using the company name along with the employee's name in the signature section. If so, type the company name in capital letters, two line spaces below the complimentary close, and then sign your name. The enclosure line informs the reader that additional materials like a brochure, diagram, form, contract, or proposal accompany your letter. Enclose only the items necessary and indicate enclosures with the number of enclosures on the line. The abbreviation CC, two C's followed by a colon, informs the reader that a copy of your letter has been sent to one or more individuals. Letters are copied and sent to third parties for two reasons, to document a paper trail and to indicate that other readers need the information contained in the letter. Unless your employer instructs you otherwise, tell your reader if other readers receive a copy of your letter. The way your letter looks can determine how readers will respond to your message. Here are some tips on how to format and produce professional looking letters. If you're printing your letter, use a high quality printer and check ink or toner cartridges to avoid fuzzy, faint, or messy looking letters. Stay away from fancy fonts and scripts. Use business-like Times New Roman or Arial fonts. Consider using templates to help format and design your letters. Most word processing programs such as Microsoft Word or Google Docs have them. Some organizations, however, may prefer not to use a template. Always check with your organization before you start writing letters. Leave generous margins of at least one to one and quarter inches around all of your message. For a short letter, don't expand your margins to 2 inches or increase the font size, which will only make your letter look unprofessional. 
Leave double line spaces between key parts of your letter, the date line, the salutation, copy notation, and enclosure, but leave four lines between the letterhead and the date, as well as the complementary close and the typed signature. Never try to squeeze a handwritten signature in. Single space within each paragraph, but double space between paragraphs. The white space enhances the professional look of your letter and makes it easier to read. Avoid crowding too much text on one page. Squeezing too many characters on a line by using overly small fonts will make your letter look cramped and hard to read. Also, don't cram a long letter into one page. Instead, allow your reader to flow to a second page. Be careful about lopsided letters. Don't start a brief letter at the top of the page and then leave the lower three-fourths blank. Begin a short message near the center of the page. Use Print Preview to see an image of your letter before you print a hard copy or create a digital version of it, so that you can make any necessary changes or corrections. Never print over your company's letterhead or any addresses or company logos printed across the bottom or top of the letter. A standard business letter can be divided into an introduction, a body, a conclusion, each section representing or clarifying a specific issue for your recipient. 